Hi, welcome to a tutorial on how to use the linear combination method to solve. We have our two equations, 3x plus 5y is equal to 16, and negative 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 2. When using the linear combination method, the first thing to do is select a variable to remove. We're going to remove x in this equation. Next, you want to add right down the row. 3x minus 3x is equal to 0, thereby eliminating x from this equation. 5y plus 2y is equal to 7y, and 16 minus 2 is equal to 14. This is our new equation. The next step is to make sure y is by itself. So, what we're going to do is divide 14 by 7, and that equals 2, making our y 2. Next, we plug y back into the first equation up here. 3x plus 5 times 2 is equal to 16. Next, we multiply 5 and 2 to get 10. Then, as we are trying to get the x variable by itself, we're going to subtract 10 from both sides, making the new equation 3x is equal to 6. When working with variables, it's important that when you do something to one side of the equal sign, you always do it to the other. If you want to get rid of a number, you do the opposite of that to the whole equation. For example, if we have negative 10, we would have added 10 to both sides. Our next step is to divide 6 by 3, which is equal to 2, thereby making x 2. We now have our x variable, which is 2, and our y variable, which is also 2. When stating your answer in a linear equation, it is important to use an ordered pair. An ordered pair is for graphing and it is usually looks like this, x and then y. So our answer is 2, 2. If you come across an equation where the variables don't line up at first to make for easy canceling out, what you do is you multiply one of the equations times a number. So 4x and 12x don't immediately cancel each other out, neither do 5y and 8y, so we multiply the top equation by negative 3, and now our x's can cancel each other out. If you want a challenge, you can try doing this problem yourself.